All right, let's talk Mercurial Spell Dancer for a second. Is this card good enough for modern? Probably not. Is that going to stop me from trying her? No. No, it's not. So we're going to try it as a 4 of in the place of Ledger Shredder and Murktide. I'm not expecting much out of it. But if it can copy one, or maybe two spells a game, I'll consider that a success. We will see. I'm keeping it. Oh, not my best keep, but I'm keeping it. The amount of gemstone cavern I've seen recently is kind of absurd. It's far, far too many. No, we got punished. But that's fine. <clears throat> I thought they were rhinos, but I guess if they're playing prismatic ending, they're just playing that one control list from the SCG that had one copy of gemstone caverns in it. There was one control list from the SCG that had a gemstone cavern in it. Okie dokie. Oh, I can't do anything. Okay, that's not bad. I think this has been pretty awesome for Modern overall. I think it's made a lot of decks viable that were like fringe playable before, like Mill and Devoted Druid. <laughs> I added the Mill, Jace. New Jace is insane in that deck. I think I might just start casting stuff into this, uh, chalice. I might cast the consider into the chalice. I'll definitely cast some heats into the chalice also. Mm -hmm. I can slam a giant merc tab with counterspell backup. And just have that be my win condition. Although now, I can Oda War of the Chalice. Which I don't mind. Yeah, we tried Tyvar Druid stuff. I think it's really good. All right, we'll pass the turn. I'm actually gonna keep that on top. Another one. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack for three and then jam Merc I don't know how big I want to make it yet. I've been thinking probably like a a four four. And if I counter something here, I get to, like, super pump it. This is the first game. I also cast this Consider into it. I can make it an 8-8 eight, eight, two-turn clock. Alrighty. If you took part in the Doghouse, what deck would you use? I'd probably just play my normal challenge decks, which are going to be, like, Scam, Merc Titan, Tyvard, Tyvard Druid. I think I'd probably play Tybar Druid. It's been my favorite deck of the new set so far. I think I can't beat as a Supreme Verdict. Alright. We got there. I'm gonna cut some heats and this misstep because they're never gonna cast anything that costs one or zero. Probably cut the spell pierce as well. I'll leave it in. Spell pierce is good against like specifically Teferi when they try to resolve it. We'll just trim a bolt. 
Did the chat log change for anyone else? Nope. Not for me. You can see them 10 minutes prior to joining, like the in-game MTGO chat. Oh, the Twitch chat? Mm, yeah, I don't know. I'll try this. Not my favorite hand, but it can get there. I'm muted. Whoops. Whoops. That's because my keyboard disconnected. Mm -mm. Record. Thank you for the T1. Welcome back for the five months. Mm -mm. Trigger. No, I still muted myself. All right. Dovin's veto, I guess. I'm going to count on this because I have the force negation. So they try to untap and play something scary. Then I'm chilling. It's way more peaceful. Got you. Nice. The old spell pierce into my chalice. I believe that's called doing it. It's my time to also spell pierce into the chalice. I wish I had like an EI to cast off of this. That'd be so sweet. Instead, we say no. We have to say no. I didn't pierce, they pierced. I think I'm scared of his verdict. Come on, EI. Not an EI. Never an EI. Alright, 1-0. Is it really worth it to get ahead on mana at the cost of card advantage in a deck like blue-white? Probably not. I'm gonna spend this bauble. Yeah, well, it was pretty sweet at dealing 2 damage to our opponent, for whatever that's worth. Yeah, you play in like the modern open play. You get paired up through MTG melee. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, there's still spots in the doghouse. I think there's another, like, 20 spots. Give or take. Opter Foundry. No. 
Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Why are we playing Thopter Foundry? Are you playing Modern anymore? Modern is wide open right now. You can play a lot of returning strategies. Like I saw DT play Lantern yesterday to a decent amount of success. I just want to hit a land drop here. Oh boy, do I have to kill that. One, two, three, four. Did I wait for counter spell Merc Tide? I mean, they're just going to activate Urza Saga the next couple of turns. Yeah, I'm just going to slam an 8 8. If they have Teferi, they have Teferi. I'll try to rebuild from Teferi. I think Bonner has a lot of good decks right now. A lot of options. <laughs> They're drawing a land. Making a token. I don't know if has been working on the wall deck. I saw Spike playing the wall deck, so... That's kind of awesome. Spear. Spherical. Oh, Aether Spellbomb. Yeah, it does it too. We're going to bounce this, which is fine. much just countering this to have something to counter Two turn clock five five merc dead i wonder what they have in hand it's got to be like a bunch of pendings or something something i can think of maybe they have a solitude i don't think this blue white affinity list plays solitude i guess this is the opposite foundry not necessarily affinity i would change the music Die of Coman. Doing good. A lot of a lot of bounce effects you got there. Basically just trying to turbo out this Merc dead. You're so close to being dead. I'm playing a Stopper Sword right now, which is a deck I haven't seen in a minute. Stopper Sword kind of fell off the face of the planet. Hey, Kevin. Kevin, thank you for the tier one. Welcome back for the six months. Bing bong. might be something in this Merc Tide card. We haven't copied a spell with Dancer yet. Did you just Chris Hansen me? <laughs> what just happened? The fuck? Is there with the 100 bits? Why don't you have a seat over there, dingo? Pick the targets never doesn't go hard. I use the double negative, that's how hard it goes. I helped you already. You were like, I need you to figure out this one with nothing deck, and I said, 
I sent you the 60, and I said, figure it out yourself. <laughs> it's right there. In the text file, dude. Which maps are you bringing to Moon for? Decks like this, that just have greedy mana bases. Titan. Uh, Tron. Can I double my consider this turn? I can't. All right, time to get two considers. Mm, I'll keep that one. I'll keep that one as well. All right, pretty sweet. This card good. Um, that was cool. Whatever that was worth. It also just like can't be blocked. <laughs> it's just a 2-1 unblockable that's, you know, rooting my opponent right now. Witching well. Yep. I can double this a braid. Mm, that's all I want to do is double this a braid. Destroy target artifact. Dude, the value. It's insane. It's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. Swinging. I don't want to hope to get lucky. Even if I miss off of DRC, then I just have to play double Merc Dead. Yeah, I'm going to try to get lucky. Because worst case scenario, I'm just jamming two Merc Deads that are giant. Best case scenario, I hit Delirium, kill this thing. It's fine. Mm hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to exile two on the first one. Uh huh. Giant Merc Tide. Secondary Giant Merc Tide. Your turn. I guess if they have specifically like Thopter Foundry, they could make one blocker die. No, they go to two. I would keep him alive. Now, counter balance was terrible. Is Jace worth it? No, but I've... DT's tested mill enough for the both of us. So, Jace is definitely worth it. You want to be a scummy mill player? Oh, speaking of scummy, it's Yogmoth. Won't trust until I test it? I got bad news for you. Mm -hmm. Playing some garbage. I think... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this and pass. If they play a Grist, I'm going to be kind of sad. Yeah. What? Why though? I think I want to be on EI right now. I'm killing this so I can dash the Rogavon at the Grist and kill it. That's probably as good as Rogavon's gonna get in this matchup. Photoshop Jace riding a crab. For a sweet Twitter post. 
Priest. Kind of annoying. Oh shit. Doomwake. Sub buddy. Any jewels in chat for Doomwake? Yeah, finally awake after a 24 hour stream. Sure. I think they have quarter calling. And because I think they have quarter calling, I'm not going to tap out for this consider. I'm going to leave up counterspell and then untap with three mana and consider then. I suppose they could also have endurance. Um, I guess I do kind of want that. If it finds me in land, I can go like EI, land, Merc Ted, and that'd be pretty sweet. Killing my DRC. The value. Another Grist. I guess they have mono Grists over there. Well, if I provide a heat for this Grist, then I'm in good shape. Found a new emote. Joel teaching his son Joel how to spin while... Okay, yep. Yep, I'm in. I'm in. Love everything about that. Blood artist. Kind of in some trouble here. Just a wee bit. Never mind. This is fine. Do I want to kill this Grist, or do I want to kill the Blood Artist? I guess I just kill the Grist and then slam a Giant Merc Tide. Or I could leave up Counterspell and not die to Yogg. And untap in Giant Merc Tide. Yeah, I don't think I need to die to Yogg. I think I can just wait a turn. That was like the perfect heat. Absolutely fucking stunning. I need to die to Yogg, I agree. Time to die. I could double counter Yogg. If they cast Yogg via quarter calling on my turn. Oh my god, I just want to cast two EIs instead. Somebody stop me, I'm about to cast two EIs. For the... This is the winning play, this is the content. And you already know, I'm a man of the content. Content. Court of content. Yeah, absolutely not. Get out of here. Just really felt like I needed more EIs. Oh shit, more EIs. Hmm. I mean, I mean. Can't really go wrong with more EIs, right? Oh, they're gonna yog me. It's over. I lost this game. For the content. There was no possible way you could have played around that. None at all. They sack everything I go to. No, I'm dead. Yeah, they killed this too. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, no amount of content can save me now. What a shame. I really need to change the song. I've been listening to this for far too long. Yoshi's Story? Alright. Or Yoshi's Island. Get out of my deck, Ragavon. This is one of the hands of all time. I would have left you at one. I know you would have. I gotta skip the sleepy time song at the beginning. And get into the real song. Hi! I'm gonna ship this. And it's not very good. I 
There we go. That's actual music and not sound effects. Spell the answer is cool. I don't know if it's any better, but certainly neat. Pin that. Speaking of spell dancer, do I want to draw a spell dancer? I don't think so. Not at this juncture. I think I'm also going to cycle one of these dress downs. Get out of your spell dancer. Spell dancer's like, love me. Hold me in your loving arms. And never let me go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the song we were waiting for. The only song that matters. I guess I don't have a very big Merc Tide here. I'm just going to leave a dress down. Also, end step the dress down again. Yeah, let's end step it again. Let's try to cut them off with some mana. Well, that's getting heated and deleted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like to attack you. RIP2600. True. Missed the timing for it. Let me refund you. Minus 2600 kick W. That leaves me with delirium, right? I actually shouldn't get rid of this land. One, two, three, one of these, one of these. Now, nah, soundboard's still working. Just had to double check. Grist. Well, the nice part about this is that if they go to kill Murktide, then I can just kill Grist. Unless they have an Endurance plus a green card in hand. No. Make them answer this. It's kind of annoying. I thought they were playing the Strangle Root guys to sacrifice it, but instead they sacrificed the Dryad Arbor, which confuses me infinitely more. I don't want to bolt. I don't know if this is dumb, but I kind of want to bolt Ignoble to take them off of Yogg mana. Yeah, I think I'm going to bolt the Ignoble. It's either that or the Young Wolf, but I think Ignoble's a little bit better here. Again, might be dumb. But I'm doing. I'm gonna go EI into Merktide Hold a Pete. Assuming everything works out. Stop Delirium. Yeah, this will work out. I need to hold a Pete for uh well, that card too. Not the card I had in mind, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that Jim? Who the fuck's Jim? Instead of killing Grist here, I'm just gonna attack them and put them dead next turn. With counterspell backup, I don't think there's a single thing they could have here. It plus the grist, it's like, sure. I'll be right back. Hey, he's Western VG Land. Thank you for the tier one. Welcome back for the three months. 55% win rate, by the way. Yup, scam.
Oh man, this hand sucks. I have to ship it. I could keep it. Uh oh. Good news is they're also mulliganing, but I'm going to five. Score. L underscore. L underscore. You make thank you so much for the 50 bits. L underscore. <laughs> L underscore. The fuck is an L underscore? So you're acting with 100 bits? I'm holding up counterspell. Um, yep. Yep, noble. <laughs> MTG name, thank you for the follow. I need some help. Probably qualifies. That also kind of qualifies. Mercurial has been pretty good, but I haven't gotten it tested all that much yet. I'm just going to take the damage here, take the three, or four. I'm just going to counter this to fill the graveyard a little bit more. We have choices to make. Do we think they have a Yogg as their last card in hand? Or is it now time, our time to slam a Murktad? I think we have to take the risk and try to slam a Murktad this turn. We're going to get severely punished if they have Grist or something. I'm scared of Grist and I'm scared of Murktad. Or scared of uh, Yogg Moth. I'm also scared of Murktad. That thing's a big dragon. I don't want to fuck with it. Have mercy. So I have to dodge EE, -E, Border Calling, Grist, Yogg, Ooze is fine. All fine in quotes, I should say. Hmm. I don't think there's a world where I can attack because I can deal 16 plus 3, which is 19, which is not enough. I think I'm just going to have to pass. Or I get a dress down also. Well, you know what I could do? I could bolt plus heat this. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. End up spending two removal spells on this card. And they're cracking back for four. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to spend the two spells. We're just going to leave up counter spell. This is going to be a problem the longer the game goes. They're probably going to exile my Scalding Thorn. Ate their birds. That's fine. I hold up counter spell. The next turn we can attack plus dress down. Only take two on the crackback. How about uh no? Ah fucking no. You mean you draw? Now one step this dress down I hope is good enough. Looks like a good spell dancer hand. Then I started dancing on him. DT knows I'm talking shit about him. Even if he's not here. It's like the time Spike tweeted saying... The nicest content creators are always trying to start the most beef, which is 
the truest tweet I've ever seen. Scam? Come on, Terra. Am I getting scamazed? Blood Chief's Thirst? What is this? Coffers? Spike! Biomast. Thank you. Good Prime, and welcome back for the six months. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. I'd like to put my spell dancer on the stack. I need to be dancing in the streets. It is coffers. Yeah, time to get all oiled up. Sea spell. D spell, C spells by the seashore. You need a crash course. Uh. Voted Drew is good again. Amulet Titan is supposedly the tier zero deck of the format now. Uh, they just absolutely ruined me. Good thing I drew another spell dancer. Go back to dancing. Um, I'm out of water, so I can't hydrate. Mm, walls are good again. I think that's about it. Oh, mill's broken now. There you go. There's your crash course. And there's some Nahiri deck probably exists. I know what that is. No. But I think I have water here. I do. Venerated Rob Priest is a cool card that doesn't have a home yet. I suspect if you give it some time, it will have a home. But I don't think that all-in Storm Rob Priest deck is where it's at. I think Rob Priest is like, it's a good card in Infect for sure. Too bad Infect just sucks. I'm bolting them here. I play Grim Reaper Tide. Mental misstep good? I don't think so. The Spell Dancer card might have legs. I'd like to cast two considers. No. Okay. No. Alright. Missteps, like, like the best use for misstep most of the time is going to be in the Cascade matchup. What's up, Terran? Am I spending a whole damnation on this thing? Or is this just like a Karn? A whole damnation on it? It took a whole nation to take it down? Mm -hmm. I if I can squeeze out these last couple points of damage. Going to four. Four rock. This is uh, Merc Tab with Spell Dancer. Yeah, it took a whole nation to take down the Spell Dancer. It's wild. I think the new Jace is playable outside of Mill. Probably not. And it, I mean, the card says Mill, right? <laughs> if the card says Mill and it, the entire mechanic of the card revolves around Mill, probably not playable outside of Mill. Yeah, they keep printing cards for Zeriok for some reason. Ooh. Is it better than the bird? Um, I don't know. Dude, that Bajuka Bog ruined me. I think I'm just attacking them. Why was that Bajuka Bog so good? I only have one bolt left. I'm gonna go tutor like Ballista or something. I wonder if I have a Worm Coil to tutor for. Blood Chief's Thirst. I actually can't even cast it. Fain Tutor. Stupid Karn. You're making me look bad. I think if I had a Counterspell, this game would be locked up. But instead, I drew a Merc Tad after they bogged me. Coding? Are they planning on activating Blast Zone? About this plan. I'll work out for them. Yeah, losing the coffers, Pog. Mm-hmm. Maybe I just wasn't supposed to cast that. I need to draw another Rogavon for lethal. Assuming they don't get, like, something massive. No Worm Coil, no Ballista, please. Now well, suddenly the Spell Pierce doesn't seem very good.
banger of a song. The last time, Spell Pierce is going to be good. I wonder if I'm supposed to bolt Karn. I guess I'll wait to decide. See what I draw. Nah, I haven't seen what Spike's playing. Alright, can you answer Murktide? They have a bunch of looks with Cascading Cataracts, which is concerning. Especially since they can get another Coffers. This is the song we're listening to. Miki Matsubara. Invoke Despair. Yep. Been uh, holding on to this bolt for forever. Come on, Burnt. Yeah. Counterspell. It's not bad. Too bad they're going to get another spin with Golos. Man, this Bajuka bug it just was the entire game. They didn't have that Bajuka bug at that exact turn that it would just like win this game. Boy, I gotta counter this Invoke Despair. You win. Can't beat that. You win. Bolt's not very good against them. Now there's heat. Maybe we probably trim a couple of each. I think I'd rather have a braid. Actually, I think I'd rather cut the minor misstep in the spell pierce. Yeah, spell pierce lines up well in the early game, but it's such a dead draw in the late game. I still think Landry control is pretty unplayable. Yeah, mono black deck that loses the blood moon. My favorite. I'm going to go turn one DRC because they probably have fatal push or something. Blood Chiefs, Thirst, Fatal Push, etc. And then I'm going to go turn to Spell Dancer Bobble. What you gonna do when Zeriok brings the Crab Kings down on you? I thought you were going for the, uh, you know, like the cops theme. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they run from you? All that. Good job, Dingo from the past. I think I'm still gonna lead on the Spell Dancer. Bobble. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Spell dancer bobble trigger. Golos. Sure. Let me see what Spike was playing. Forgot the look. The Heary mid range. Oh, let's just reanimator. Let's take two from that. Hmm. I think it might be a fine time to jam a Merc Tide. Problem is if they have Liliana of the Veil. Do I really think they have Liliana of the Veil? I'm gonna assume they don't. If they do, tough beats. I need to pressure them though. Second coffers, suspending profane tutor. The longer the game goes, the more they're favored. Mm -hmm. More coffers. I don't think I care too much about Dothy. Drawing a pretty bad one. They're gonna go get probably Liliana of the Veil. 
I just get like get something better than that. I have a lot of mana coming up here if they get a third coffers. I might get like invoke despair. March. Golos. Yep. Golos and the Liliana. Or some sort of removal spell. Yep, Golos and the Lily. I was thinking I should have played that Ragavan out too. Sucks. Hopefully we can draw another bolt. They could have gotten damnation at that point. It's a tough call to make. Because they usually just get something else instead. I think we lost this game though. I think it's over, Yugi boy. Got a castle locked, Dwayne. Sure. We're in like the same situation where we're just waiting for second lightning bolt to eventually show up in the dust. Man. We lost this game. Ah. Yep. You need a dub? I'll try. Ganja de Ganja playing potentially goblins. I think they usually play goblins. I think Spell Dance is pretty good though. It very much reminds me of like Dothy. In the sense that it's just unblockable. You just keep attacking with it. And then, you know, they have to answer it at some point. Otherwise, it's just generating incremental value. I don't know if Murktide wants a card like Dothy. Because it's very Dothy-esque feeling to me. I like this hand quite a bit. Seems our opponent's in the tank. They did mulligan to six. They are on goblins. Gobbos. There's a couple of goblins I really need to deal with, like Snoop and Horde Master. That's what I'm saving these bolts for. Okay. Well, Counterspell is going to do nothing. Noted. This Counterspell will be trash. That's what I miss about Ledger Shredder, though, is being able to connive away the bad cards out of your hand. That's uh, it's a lot of EI I got going on. Well, thought the end spell dancer. Damn, activating Aether Vial is the pump fake. Immediately cutting all my counter spells in this matchup. Yeah, they're hitting me with the pump fake. Kind of insane. I might die for this. If they just have Snoop Harbinger in hand, I'm dead. Seems pretty unlikely, but they might just have it. Unlikely it was. But I also need to not die to a couple of 1 1s. Or never. Yep. All right. It's kind of hoping to find a Merc Tide. Merc Tide would have been sweet. Ooh, my opponent's a gamer. Keep hitting me with these pump fakes. Gobbles, I'm here. People arrive. I should have just gone face with that bolt. 
I would have nine. I should have just gotten faced with that bolt, I think. I think bolting the goblin token was uh ambitious. Perhaps ambitious. Dropping to seven. Alright. Go to the next game. Counter spells sucked. Cutting all of them. Dress down. Great. A braid. Great. Yeah, I can see like one copy. Spell Pierce misstep can come out, and I'll just do like two copies of EE. We're gonna have Aether Violin Cavern of Souls. I think counter spells not at a premium in this matchup. <laughs> Clint. Thank you for the tier one. Welcome back for the two months. And that reminds me, if you haven't yet signed up for the doghouse, hit that exclamation mark doghouse in the chat and sign up today. $1,000 worth of prizes on the line. 105 out of the 128 player cap so far. Got nothing to lose, everything to gain. So if you haven't yet, might as well sign up for the doghouse. And don't forget to submit deck list by tomorrow. Denny, thank you so much for the follow. Try to get that thing filled up by tomorrow. It'd be sweet. I'm sure half the competitors will get Dano snapped for not Submitting deck list anyways. <laughs> I think this hand's okay. It's a little bit land heavy. But I think we'll manage. 1k doghouse. <laughs> Magic players procrastinating? Why I never. Why I would never. Power fire. Oh, that's gonna kill my DRC. This is about to be the best tar fire of all time. Hopefully, they just go land Aether Vial so I can abrade it and they don't tar fire me. I think they're gonna tar fire me. What this? Sure. Another DRC. This one has Delirium, so it can't get tar fired. Rockerbond's pretty abysmal in this matchup as well. Still think it's better than some of the other stuff. Like Counterspell. Counterspell just does actual nothing. This can at least trade for a goblin token sometimes. And it can be good on turn one backed up with removal. This is a spot where I'd be excited to draw a ledger shredder as opposed to a spell dancer, because then I could like shred away this Rogavon, but drawing the spell dancer just means that. I got nothing. I get to keep this Rogabon in hand for the rest of time. Yeah, I have to assume Ledger Shredder's just better. Spell Dancer's neat, though. It's doing a lot of work in the matchups that were lighter on removal. So I can make a 1-1 one, one. Matron. Looks like it. What are you tutoring? What are you selling? You distance expert. I'm gonna fetch Shaka Braid the Matron. Mostly just for the surveil. Top that one. Top a lightning bolt as well. I want the spell dancer. Actually they have them. Yeah, I shouldn't take the spell dancer. They have the expert, which is just gonna kill it. Even if they have no goblins. Yep, take two. I'm gonna crack this fetch as a bait, and then they're gonna flash in Munitions Expert, and I'm gonna heat it. This is bait. And not take the bait. Spell Dancer seems good. I don't think she's better than Ledger Shredder, but I do think she's good. I'm just gonna play. Hmm. 
I wonder if they have Sting Scourger. Might have Sting Scourger. But I will play 7-7. Seven, seven. My top 5 modern decks as of right now. Merktide, Creativity, Rhinos, Yogmoth, Skim. I think. Unless I'm forgetting something. Oh, Hammer. I forgot Hammer. I would probably take out Yogg then. And put Hammer in the place of... I might take out Skim. I could take out Yogg and Skim. Put Jeskai Breach in there. Jeskai Fair Breach. That's probably what I would do. Got Hammer. So, Rhinos, Merktide, Hammer, Creativity, Jeskai Fair Breach. As of right now. We'll see how one changes everything though. That's in no particular order. Then six and seven would probably be Yogg Skim. What? What do you mean? Oh my god. You just got the same thing? Did Spike get the same thing? Yep. Everybody's moto's crashing? <laughs> what the fuck? Mine's crashing too. <laughs> oh, did Bodo die? What happened? Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>